Good morning, everybody, and once again, welcome back in today's class. We are on the day number twenty-eight. Yes, twenty-eight, and now we are all reach almost at the end of the request management. Okay, so we see that how a catalog can be created, how a category can be created, how an item can be created, what are the variables there, how we can use the variable, how can we can show the variable. Now, if you see, let me let me go back here. Okay, I did not open that. Let me open my PDI. Okay, so now if I open any request, let me let me take it here. Dev one eight one. And there is a request from here. Let's see how the life cycle proceed now. OK. So I'm going to be take log a request. For the. Let's say I'll take a little easy one where. OK, let's say Apple iPhone 13. OK. I'm putting this. No data allowance unlimited color pink. Are in here. UI policy like 256. Primary contact is this. Cost center is this because this is what we added specifically, right? Click on the order. Now. And check out. My REQ has been created now. You can see the stages here like this. Now in service now specifically in this area, two things are important stage and state. So now if I open this my REQ. Go and search here. So it says. Approval is approved. It means. As per the workflow, as per the flow, there is no approval is required. We will see that what what workflow is attaching on that particular point. Now scroll down, R item will be created. OK. And here you can see. One is stage and one is state. Stage I can say. It's a bigger picture. Let me open this RAQ in the another window. This also has these many states pending approval, approved, close, complete, incomplete, cancel, rejected, and skip. Okay, this is RAQ status, like your overall order, but it is item level status. Fulfillment in the fulfillment I have a state. Open work in progress. Close complete incomplete skip. OK. Here the things that means how, how the things work. Let me go back here and show this thing like this. OK. Once a request has been submitted. Or let's say this one. Once a request has been submitted, there are two two options. Either the request need approval. Either it don't require any approval. If no approval required. That's fine. RIT will be created. Things will work. OK, like you can say. If it's required approval. It's approved. And the RITM get open. Now two things. I can configure the approval on the REQ level as well, like you can see here. I can configure the approval on the RITM level as well, like this. Means at the both level, I can configure the approval. Like if, if I take example, there is a marriage in the house. OK, 
एंड ब्राइड से आई वॉन्ट टू डू अपिंग नाउ आई दी कैन टेक अप्रूवल ऑन एवरी आइटम मॉम और डैड कहने बाई दिस थिंग कहने बाई दिस थिंग कहने बाई दिस थिंग कहने बाई दिस थिंग नंबर वन नंबर टू इट्स माई मैरिज आई वॉन्ट टू बाय थिंग्स ओके बेटा यू कैन गो एंड बाई इट एनी थिंग दैट इज आर क्यू लेवल अप्रूवल इफ यू कैन बाय एनी थिंग ऑन द टॉप लेवल आई एम गिविंग अप्रूवल बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर द आर एम लेवल यू कैन गो फॉर द अप्रूवल एज वेल हेयर वॉज दिस अप्रूव और रिजेक्टेड इफ इट हैज बीन रिजेक्टेड कहानी खत्म लाइफ साइकिल क्लोज नो फर्दर प्रोग्रेस इफ आर आई टी एम गेट अप्रूव्ड देन द टास्क हैज बीन लॉन्च दिस इज वॉट वी आर हेयर नाउ सो लेट सी डू वी एव एन अप्रूवल कॉन्फिगर नो इट से दिज नो अप्रूवल रिक्वायर्ड एंड द टास्क हैज बीन ओपन हेयर If I click on this task, and and let me open this R A T M as well in this window, because this work together, and these stages which you are able to see here, कहाँ गया ये? These stages, these stages get updated as per the flow we configured it, as per the flow. we configured it let let me show you the flow as well now now it's time to be open the flow show flow see from here it has been triggering and in this part they are doing a setup okay it's a process flow let me see on the req what we have oh i i put the work flow yaar there is no flow so like this this is the flow so this is the work flow which is given by service now out of the box and it work automatically either you raise any of the request any of the request it check if the price is less than 1000 dollar then no approval is required automatic approved this this is what happened with us because our rq cost is only 720 if it is 1720 this flow get executed and we got for a approval as well if approved if reject approved or reject in the both case it will be end this run on the req level but ritm has its own flow here rnd ritm says do we have this item in the procurement or we have to procure that it say no so i am stuck at here now fulfillment it's checking now the first task so i'll go and open this where it's gone as it has here task has only one thing it's a state no stages in the task task the output of the task the value in the state in the state for a task has a lot of impact on the rtm and the raq this is the process this this request management is a process okay sc and rm is the process where the flow work in the opposite direction like first i will close the task once the task will be get closed then ratm get closed automatically and then request get closed automatically it's not like you are going to be close the rq we never close the rq we always close the task so now i have five options six options sorry 
pending open work in progress close complete incomplete and skip pending open work in progress everybody know straight forward what these three mean close complete incomplete and skip and what is the impact of this close complete says all the work has been done for this task let's say example in this task it say order from the vendor or move from the stock yes order is available item is available i am closing it you can put the assignment group all things you can do i put close complete and close task good now let's go back here refresh it and if you see another task get created field services Abhi, yes. can we create a uh, task level sla on this yes why not and, and and the event of let's say someone has ordered through our ritm okay and it may require a purchase and it will take an additional time right to it may 15 20 days to mm -hmm. purchase a new laptop right sometime mm -hmm. so is there any provision we can make this as task on hold due to such reasons hold is pending see like this one you can say this item received means you order to the vendor did you receive the item no i did not okay. receive it okay putting in the pending okay okay so sl is the next part in the in this particular discussion that how to configure the sl because sometime sl need to be configured on the variable level as well if someone is ordering the macbook it take 20 days to be deliver that is my sl if someone is ordering the normal laptop like dell or something like windows base it can be in the four days so you can put pending as per your requirement now let's say i am putting close skip let's say example i don't require anything from the vendor the stock is available for me and put the close task task has been closed now open it and now see this we are the stage of the configuration because work has been started on this part let's see what is the stage of rq rq in the same stage two task has been closed my stage has been changed from fulfillment to the to the configuration now i am on the next task one more task get created it is again for the same team can be possible can be for the same team configure hardware and test the system initial boot up i said i have to be skip this task there is no no nothing required because now my team is not doing i am i am just ordering to the dell and dell is sending the laptop to the user so i can put the skip and close task Wait, let me add the state here. Why it's got change? So now you can see we're in the stage in the delivery. I mentioned the close skip. Why it's coming like a closed complete? Now come to the last part. By the time the laptop is ready and I need to be deliver, I got an email from the manager that the user has been resigned. Or by mistake, I put closed incomplete. Now it is important to be understand. Example, what example I gave in the in the training as well. Let's say Anuj invited me for the dinner. I told come at my home for a dinner. <coughs> okay, I reach on time by six six o'clock. We sit, we greet with each other, exchange the gifts. Anu says, "Sir, I told what you want. You will take coffee, chai, or drinks or soup." I said, "Let's let's have a coffee." Okay, coffee has been started. Had a coffee, and after the coffee, I got a call from my family. 
there is some urgent. Please come back to home now immediately. I said, I need to be leave. Is this dinner has been completed? Or this dinner activity has been completed? Definitely no. Right. One example. Second example. We're done with the coffee. Anu says, OK, let's let's have a soup now. It's a starter. We have a soup. Anu says, sir, we would like to take some some drinks as well. I said, no, yeah, drinks are not required. We will we'll go for the main course. Here I'm skipping an activity, skipping a task. We go for the dinner. We had a main course, we have a deserts and we come back. In both cases, what should be the final results? In the first case where I came back in between. Where the RATM not completed, it's an incomplete, even though only one task is not done, but still it is an incomplete. In the second, I skip the item, I skip the task, but dinner was done completely. So that is called the closed complete. That is why I'm saying that the state of the task change a lot of things on the item level. So now let's put this part and save. Close incomplete and if you go in the RATM level, So logically, not sure that why it's showing close complete. Maybe I have I have made some changes. This state should go to the closed incomplete. Or I have to be or we have to be check the workflow. So if we, as you notice that stage has been changed to the complete now. And what about the REQ? See, REQ also marked as a closed complete. So this is what the fundamental I say that if you close the task. RATM get closed, REQ get closed automatically. It's not the state for it's a reverse order. The lower the child should be closed first, then the parent will get closed automatically. This is what the fundamental of this particular things. Now, if I if I take you on the flow level, that how these things have been set up. Here for the REQ QUST. Like these are the few things which is given by service now. Few. Like step by step execution. This. Let me open this service catalog. Item request. This is the flow. In the flow, two things are important. One is trigger and second is action. I said trigger means on which particular record I want to be. Add or I want to map this flow. I said it's on the catalog. Do I need to be go for the manager approval? No. If it has been rejected by manager, then what should we do? If it has been rejected by department head, then what need to be do? And if you can see that here the stages has been configured, like open this. So this one stages has been configured. Let me show you like this manner. This is the beauty of service now. Wow, they have put it this as well. That's nice. Low logic properties. Good. So now it is easy for understanding. That how the flow done. So once a catalog item get generated, service catalog get generated, go for the manager approval. And you can click here. You can add action. You can add flow logic. You can add sub flow logic and you can add the stages as well. Stage is already there, so it's it's showing no to us. 
let's do have an option here like this stage. We can add the stage that what should be happen. Shall I put the request cancelled? Shall I put the completed? Shall I put the back order? Order fulfillment? What need to be happen with my request state? And the stage, not state, basically stage is here. After bringing this, when service now bring this particular option of the flow designer, things become very easy. In the workflow, like if you can see here, it is a little tricky to set up the things. But once this flow has been come in the picture, these things become easy for us. And track, easy to track the things. So now what, what we can see, let me go here and open this. Maintain item. And let's see, I have usually take a laptop ex example. Let's say this one. Developer laptop. If you open this, it has a go to the process engine. It has this workflow. No, I'm looking for the flow actually, not workflow. Let me add one more field called the flow so that I can show you that. Nowadays, companies are trying, customers are trying to build everything on the flow. So like this. Let me remove this and see. See, almost every request item has a standard or the default flow. Service catalog item request, which we're able to see here. Service catalog item request. This is what has been attached. If you want to modify, like this thing, application intake request v2. It's a separate one. But almost for everything, we use the out-of-the-box flow. If you want, you can use your as well. Like, like say, Zoom desk phone. Let come here. And now if I refresh this, and you can see it's showing completed. It's showing completed. So these status stages get changed as per the flow design in the background. So now we are here. If I raise a request for the Zoom desk phone, let me and search here. This one, Zoom desk. And I can say requested for this location is this workspace ID is this decision this and submit. Don't consider this thing. I was testing something and submit. So now it's in, in, in the initiating format. It will go for the manager approval, go for the department have approval. How it will go, how to understand? Because in the item level, we have this particular flow. Now, if I go and open this, RDQ level, it's approved, no action is required. But at the RITM level, let's see. It's going for the department head approval. Why it is not going for the manager approval? Where we have in the flow, we have the manager approval as well. Any idea? What's the question? I'm saying that hmm. it's gone. This is going for the department head approval, right? If you see the state. Yes. Right? But the flow which has been attached, It always give me error. The flow it doesn't attach is this one. Ye na flow dekho iske upar. Then why it is not going for the manager approval? See, why it is going directly for the head of approval? Maybe is it on the it is on the department level. That's why. 
कम ऑन कुछ भी कुछ भी आनंद नहीं इट्स एवरीथिंग इज डिफाइंड हियर बी इट्स वी हु डिफाइंड दिस सो इफ द मैनेजर इज नॉट अप्रूविंग देन बट इट शुड ट्रिगर इट आई वांट टू टेक अ लीव इफ आई डिड नॉट टेल टू माय मैनेजर विल ही अप्रूव माय लीव एट लीस्ट हैव टू बी टेल राइट राइट in the flow it has been mentioned but it is not going to the manager it's going to the department head let open and see what is we mentioning nothing has been mentioned here the reason can be the reason can be but i'm thinking here let me go to the profile configure sorry view it is a default view and let me add configure form layout manager and save where is manager is blank where is blank it will skip it give a try again let's do one thing let's get a another request are yeah this much of zoom but before that let me update the profile as it will not go let's say able to is fine right okay go here this and submit okay. open this i hope so it should work see it's going for the manager people why because earlier it did not find any manager it skip it and go to department head so now if you see here it going for the able to tell how it has been defined in the flow we mention manager approval request item manager approval means and it is a sub flow that whenever or who is logging this request i want his manager to be approved ab anuj is reporting to x person and he is going on leave definitely x person will repo, uh, approve the leave not the y person so this is defined here and if this person approved then another will be generated see and now if you see the stage department head if you see here let me reload this page see department head right so this way it start working the progress so all the stages has been set up in the flow designer let's say if i reject it department had two days and what they have it rejected request cancelled now let me go back here and let's say i rejected it rejecting it and now see the behavior request cancelled why because we mention in the flow please set the stage as a request cancelled okay and what about my req also closed incomplete theek hai clear ho gaya fundamentally yahan pe 
and in doubt. We can create any number of stages as well. If you want to create your own stage, you can create it, but it's not much recommended. Um, I thought question here. Good, good. Um, from the uh, BA standpoint, business analyst uh, standpoint, or a functional consultant standpoint, mm -hmm. is it required for us to show this to the customer? Like, yes. Uh, if there is a demo that yes. how the flow yes. works. Yes, yes, this is what we have to be showed to the customer that how it's how it's working in the background. Being okay. really consultant, we can ask to the customer, okay, tell me what stage you want, what step you want, what approval you want, how many approvals you want. So basically, we are required to show the demo as well in the service now. Yes, I can say yes. Okay. Okay. So this is the way that it has been defined in the flow level that how the things work. So you can get any number of stages. You can change the states or the label names like I want instead of uh, fulfillment, I want order started something like that you can do. OK, and you can put the duration as well like we have put it here. Like it's a four days. It's a stage property. What is the name? I can say this duration that how many days it need four days, five days. It's not a SLA. It's just give a overview that in the four days it should be completed. OK. So in this part, you have to do these three things. Number one, you can create stages. Number two, you can put the timings and number three, you can change. The stuff here itself. And this is something new. I find out now that Earlier we have to be go. We can create it here, but not the properties available. But now I guess in the Vancouver patch zero or patch one, they upgraded this part as well. It's a good to go. Acha option hai. And you can download this flow as well. Just click here. It will be downloaded. But there's no option to download the workflow. There's a no option to migrate the workflow. Sorry, yeah, migrate the workflow to flow. There's a no option available. So now you can see complete flow is there. Clear? Now let's come to the SLA. Number one point which I can say a little bit clearly. We can create SLA on the REQ level. Or we can create the SLA on the sorry, are you I'm saying RA team level or we can create the SLA on the craft level. Only. Let me see. Only difference is that. The table name. Uh, Atul, uh, question is please, please. If we have uh, multiple tasks, mm -hmm. okay, uh, how the SLA will be? attached to those multiple tasks and uh, if it is RATM, I understand that you know the SLA can be with only the RATM, so we don't have any confusion there. Okay. So uh, what is your suggestion or the good practice that we need to follow? Anthony, uh, you, you have a kid, right? Yes. How old? 10 years. 10 years, okay. Let me give you an example. Definitely is he or she? He. Definitely he has a lot of toys in his room, right? Car, JCB, drawing yes. books, playing things, bat ball, basketball, all kind of things. Okay. You're sitting in the living room and you tell to your kid, go in your room and pick up one game which has a board, pick up one game which has the coins, pick up one game, which is a small bowl, pick up one game, which has a, which has the cards. What you are giving to her, him? Four different conditions to go and match it. Right? Yes. Right? He will go in the room, he will say, okay, dad say, I need one game which has a board. Okay, I can take Ludo. Dad say, I need one game which has a coin. I can play this 
alphabetically game. Check it. Dad say I need a game which has a card. I have a, this cards with me or the football player cards or cricket player cards. So it depends on the condition you are filtering it. You are putting it. Okay. It depends on that. In the same manner in SLA, the same thing happened. SLA get attached on the condition you're putting it. And one thing more important in the request management. Request management say that it is a standard process. Standard approval, standard naming convention, standard uh, name for the task as well. So if you see here. The last one. Do we write this short description? Do we write? No, it's automatically coming. How it's coming? It's coming from the flow. You want to see? Let me see. Create task. And see. Please fulfill the order. So in your case, we can get SLA. Let's say I'm creating SLA on the SC underscore. Uh, this one, let's say essay task. OK. I say. If short description, even though it's not a right, right way to do the things. If short description. Contains. Where the flow gone? This. If the short description contains. Let's say put this in. Fulfill order. Then this SLA should get attached. You can make it. And in, in your flows, you can make it as a read only so that nobody can delete it. Otherwise, SLA will not work. So it's totally depend on your filter condition. Like we are on the essay task level. Now we have variables as well, right? That is the main important. Or you can put item. Like if the request item is. Let's say I can say. Zoom dashboard. Only then this SLA should get attached. Clear or. Variable is nothing. Let me go and scroll down. Show related fields. And now click again. Variable. In this Zoom phone, what we have a variable? We have, sorry, um, in the Zoom, we have to put the Zoom dash phone. Under this, what variable we have? We have only these four variable. If I say if location, is maybe I can put or location contains. Sorry, is basically for the complete map. Where we gone? Workflow RAQ. Let's do we have some information here. No other is additional details like this. If location is this. Then. SLA should attack. So it's totally depend on the conditions you're putting it. If you tell to your kid. Go in the room and bring a toy which has a. Glass to play. He will get confused glass to for the water. Maybe dad is confused. Your SLA will not attach. So. It's totally depend on the conditions you want to do, and it's not like you can do only RAQ level. We can see here this. We can create SLA on the variable part as well. If the color is pink, it will it will take five days to be delivered. If color is black, it can be delivered in one day. Right? So we can create these variables. Sorry, we can we can use these variables for the SLA as well. 
clear? Anthony, now. Yes, sir. It's it's based on the standard and uh, you know the requirement where yes. where we need to add. And this is what you want me to be get the from the customer. Tell me how you want to be start your your SLA. What condition you want to start your SLA? What should be match in the SLA? Cheek. Everybody clear, right? Anuj, Khalda, Venkat, Anthony, Ishwar. Yes, sir. Good. In this, we have only this part to be tell that how the SLA can be configured, specifically on the variable spe specific part. Now we're almost on the at the end of this part, which called a reporting. In the reporting also, variable play a very vital role. Like if I show you few reports has been given by service now standard. Like if I say request. We is going to overview this one. So I have a dashboard available with me. Open pay and assigned a celebrity. Oh, it's a universal request. Yeah, I'm looking for this thing. My RITM level. Or oh, let me go here and search here for the request. Let's click on here. And search for the catalog. Do we have anything on the catalog? Yes, service catalog. So I can see my reports, different bar graph, charts, pie, donuts, we can say. And now I come to your point again, Anthony. Atul, ye to theek hai. Ye to RIQ pe aap bana loge, RITM pe aap bana loge. I see RIQ, RITM. But the problem is that I want to see a specific report on the variable level. That is important that how many smart or how many zoom desk phone has been ordered for this particular location. How to create that report. Right. How to create that report that is important for me. So let's come here and see one report. Create a report. And you can create a report, let's say. And let's say I'm going on the RITM level. SC underscore. REQ. This one, let's say item, item level. Type. Let's say I want a list view only as of now. OK, and configure here. So this is my RAQ. Now go here and check about the variables. Same thing which we done for the SLA. Do you have anything called variable? Let me see. Yes. Variable. Which variable we have on this part? Let's say because this is a complete report. I said variable is do we have anything called location office location? Let's see. Or let's say item is zoom desk phone. Uh, corp event MNOPQ or ST zoom desk phone is here. This one zoom desk phone. Under this, I have a variable called location. And you can put your location here. I say location and click on the done. Because no record is there, so nothing will be generated here. But what is why my report is this one? Let me copy and show you here. If location is and I got one report here. So we can do this part. We can we can use the variable on the reporting level as well. 
the picture the point to tell this thing very clearly is that so that it should not be a case atul what about the variables because in the request item in the catalog item in the in the request management variable play a very 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 vital role i want to know that how many iphone has been sold out in the last month which has color the black if it is a field easy to do because field means you are storing the table level but if it is a variable then it tricky atul if you do not mind can you show one more uh, this report level reporting go here we are on the we are on the table of req you can same go for the task level as well underscore task this one and down here and you can search for the variables under variables let's say i want to be for the access as as of my what i can say item under this item i have a nothing to be do let's say lg training we have this right okay we don't have, or we're not showing anything here are 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 let's say zoom dash phone it should have something yep this one so like this we can do workspace id contains let's say put contains oh oh like this this operator play a very vital role or if you want to show the variables here choose column variable click on this icon what item you are saying i am putting up the zoom okay under zoom i have qualification i have this i want to show this as well so if i remove this condition and run it now you can see these variables as well here this one see this is this is a game of practice now let me tell you in the community service now community there is a lot of people who put almost 10 to 20 questions regarding this variable regarding this item regarding this reporting part go and read that questions it will it will open your mind completely i can i can tell you it will open your mind if you want to become expert in service now you want to taste everything in the service now you want to work on the scripting coding business practices challenges requirements community is the best part you will go on you will go mad actually ki log kitna poochte hain logon ke paas kitni problem statements hai there are many question which are still unanswered from the last 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 years 2021 2022 someone raised the question nobody answered that part maybe nobody pick up that question maybe still no answer it's a time for you to be go and check it now as we have reporting as we have a uh, we saw the database view in the this part problem change and in the incident the same thing goes here as well this view and here we have database view starting with the sc underscore so we have these many database view on the metric on the sla item metric item sla task metric and task sla and this is uh, this is out of the box right out of the box right Okay, and this question can come in this exam as well. Yes, yes. IT some exam as you are preparing for maybe you guys are preparing for IT some exam. IT some exam is mainly concentrated on the out of the box only. Don't try to put your brain that what you are doing in your project for that particular module. Don't put. 
I done, I am mistaken, mistaken on that part. Which is written in the ebook, which is written in the labs is the thing we have to be remembered. Maybe in my project, I have a 10 metrics or the 10 database view on the RITM level or the on the RE on the this catalog level. But out of the box, it's six. You have to remember this six, not the rest of the four. Don't put your brain. I'm telling you very clearly, guys, you will get you will get very bad hit on that particular part. Which is written in the ebook is the master for everybody. And there is the only source of truth to complete this. Now let me come back here. So we have done this stages state. We have done workflow. We see SLA reporting. We see, okay, if you want, we can do the integration as well. Even though I did not pick up integration much in this topic because integration is like little separate part and it's required API level understanding that how we can build the rest API and all the things. So what they suggest, you can go here and search for the rest API Explorer. And here you can put the namespaces now and API table. I want to create a I want to create an API for the service catalog, right? So I can search for the service catalog where it is gone. I have to be changing it now. This okay. I have to be changing this namespace. Uh, what was the namespace? SN underscore SC something is there. MU this one service catalog as an underscore okay. means it's like a high level or the first level of filtration part. And then you can see that the API name is there. You can create the methods. You can use the methods to that particular part. I'm not strong in the APIs domain, but if you want to understand a basics of the API that how service now API work, I generally cover this topic for one hour topic in my admin training. But again, that is for the incident only, not for the request. Because in the request, we have multiple things like order guide, record producer, catalog, categories, items, tasks, a lot of things are there. So multiple APIs has been given by service now here. So if I go and see only for the, uh, let's do it for the change as well. SN underscore change CMDB like this change request. So these many API for the different different. My God, oh, it's too much. For the different different module in this part. Now let me come back here. Let's go back, go back, go back. So in this we have done all the things here starting from the request management. Then we see the touch points. Then we see the roles available. We see the submittal, approval, fulfillment, and the finally closure part where we see request item, REQ, essay task, publishing, these definition and the instances. And today we saw about the stages and the states. We saw about the workflows, which is has been given over service now, and SLA and the database view. With this, we have completed our request management. Sorry, not request management, service catalog and request management module as well. Doubt, question, clarification. Anybody, any doubt, any question, any clarification? Mm, not so far. It is easy to do. This thing mainly play around the workflow only. Because either you are making a cup of tea for one person or rather making a cup of tea for the five per person. Process will always be same. Water, milk, tea bag, sugar. That's all. Quantity can be changed, but the process will always be changed. Oh, sorry, always be same, always be same. No change in the process. That is it is called a standard. 
we avoid creating the manual task in the RITM level, RAQs. Yesterday I saw one question in the community. Someone says, my team is creating the task in the request item. And I put a question that why? It's a standard. You're violating the basic principle of the request management. So either improve your process, either improve your item. But don't break, don't violate the basic principle. Okay, everybody, all clear? Yes. Anthony, Ishwar, Venkat, Khaladra. Yeah, yes, Adur. Yes, Good. So now let me take quick attendance and stop the recording here.